Hi there, I'm Manu and this is Italy Made Easy, but we're not talking about Italian per se, we're talking about learning languages and if you're here, this is video two of this short series, so if you missed the first video, I shared a really important tip and today we're looking at another tip that will help you learn a language or get started with learning a language, whatever language you are approaching, especially if it's your first foreign language or your first second language. So what's the second tip? The second tip is about your goal. You must have a very clear defined goal that is achievable. Now a lot of people get caught up in the fluent myth. I want to be fluent in French, I want to be fluent in Italian, I want to be fluent in Chinese. What is fluency? Really, you have to be able to define what you want, otherwise you will never achieve it with a language. For example, are you really fluent in your native language? You might say that you are, but what's your definition? I mean, if I start talking about the car making industry, do you really know the name of all those machineries? Do you know the terminology that it's used in the process of building a car? You probably don't, unless that's your field. It's the same for me, I'm a native Italian speaker. Do I know everything of my language? I don't. So what is fluency for you? What is your goal with your foreign language? Now, my advice to you is to break up your big goal. Let's say your goal is within two years, I want to be able to move to that country and get a job. Now that's an ambitious goal. It's quite big, isn't it? I mean, so can we break it down to something more uh, helpful? Of course we can. So could we say, in one month's time, I want to be able to have a basic conversation with a native Italian speaker, for example. Basic conversation means just exchanging uh, pleasantries and getting to know each other. Okay, good. By month two, I want to be able to explain something that is important to me to an Italian person. So for example, uh, I'm into movies, then I want to be able to explain, talk about a movie. Okay, by month three, I want to be able to uh, elaborate on my childhood, I want to be able to talk about my past, okay. So have very defined goals. If you break them up in achievable goals, it'd be easier for yourself to keep motivated. If you start now, let's say this is the first day of you learning Spanish, and your goal is I want to be fluent in two years, or I want to be fluent without even the two years, and you study Spanish for a month. And then you check and you say, I'm not fluent. And then you go six months into it and then you, say, you check and you're not fluent. Well, we are not stubborn like children, okay? We will give up. And that's why so many people fail learning languages and I don't want you to fail. It's all about getting, having a strategy. Years ago, um, the Department of Defense of the United States did a study because they deployed people everywhere in the world, you know, in their military bases, all these people need to learn the local language. And so the research was, what's, what's the easiest language? You know, they kind of, they ranked languages by ease of uh, learning. So I will link to this research for you to have a look. But basically, when you pick your language, have a look at what group it belongs to. There's five groups, okay? And group number one, for example, includes languages like French, Italian, Spanish. Now this is all for in native English speakers, of course. And this is the easiest group of languages. It's, they say that to get to fluency, and they define fluency as being able to hold a job in that language, so that's pretty advanced, because you, know, you don't have to be able to work to enjoy your knowledge of Italian, but so their definition of fluency was pretty high. They estimated that it would take, it depends on the person obviously, but between four to 600 hours of focus study to pick up that language. Now is that, that sounds like a lot, oh my god, 600 hours, 500 hours, that's not a lot. If you could spend one hour a day learning that language, within a year and a half you would have achieved your 500 hours of learning that language. That's not that bad, it's not that hard. Now you don't have an hour a day, okay, an hour every other day, well it takes you three years to be at that level of fluency which is really advanced. Now that it is probably not your goal. So. Have a look at the, what language you picked and have a look at the, at, at the category. Don't get depressed if you see that your language is a category 5, like Japanese for example, okay? Don't worry about it, it's still achievable. Category 5 takes 2,000 hours of, of focus study to get to fluency. But so what? 
you don't need to get to that level anyway. Okay, so to, to wrap things up for tip number two to approaching a new language or a first foreign language is have realistic, concrete goals that is not just fluency because fluency is such, a, such an empty word anyway. What do you want to achieve that it's achievable that would make you really happy in a month, in two months, in three months, okay? Do not go for fluency. Ciao, ciao, grazie mille and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. I don't know how many words we have in Italian. I don't know how many words we have in English. There's so many that most people don't know them.